Okay, new for this year, instead of five tomato plants with five cages, I'm combining them and having two cages. They're basically 14 inches deep and three and a half feet wide compared to the round cages where they're about 16 inches round. And this is regular fencing that I got from Lowe's. Here's a five foot tall, 50 foot roll of fencing. Costs $65. And I bend little hooks, and this is what connects the pieces together. And I take some needle nose pliers to close the little hook. So here's the new cages. As a bonus, I'll have to start less plants, so that'll be make it kind of easier. Have two plants in each bed, and I've got these posts, and I'll zip tie the cage to the post. And that'll keep it the wind from blowing it over. And I have posts on each of the cages. Another thing I'm going to try this year is to disinfect the cages with a mild bleach solution. And I let the bleach sit for an hour or so and then I'll come back and hose it down. The last couple years I've had a problem with blight killing my tomato plants mid-season. So hopefully this will help it. Having the plants spaced out, not as crowded. Disinfect the cages. And I'm, I also rotate the plants so next year the tomato cages will be there. Tomato blight is a fungus and it grows in the soil and high humidity moisture with lots of rain. You can prevent it by having lots of air circulation around your plants, making sure plants aren't crowded. When you water the plants, don't let the water splash up onto the leaves. And also trim the bottom branches and leaves. Here's last year's garden template where I have five tomato cages. So I updated the template. There's two plants in each bed. 